What's up, guys? Iggy here with Faltech. It is Monday afternoon. I am in the shop. All the ovens are on. The wood stove is going. That torpedo was running. I shut it off because it's kind of loud with it. But I had a very successful uh, gun show weekend in uh, Augusta, Maine at the Armory. So it was uh, just about a three-hour ride up. Not too bad. But we came back. We have orders to fulfill. And I need to get cracking and move some stuff out. So I uh, got back yesterday to about six inches of snow on the ground and tonight we're doing uh we're gonna have about another eight inches tonight and then thursday or friday saturday sunday we have another snowstorm coming with a lot more snow so i'm gonna be in the shop out of the snow but with the heat cranking and let's bump out some holsters so uh let's build a rig Today we're going to do something somewhat easy. It's going to take a little bit of time to do it though. We're doing a light bearing pancake holster with speed clips. All right. Now, uh, it's a Glock 17 Gen 5. It's Cerakoted with the Olight PL or the Olight Balder Pro R, which the R is completely different. It has the integrated laser in the flashlight bezel instead of the uh, laser on the bottom of it. And it's a little bit longer. So it's a nice flashlight, very popular, and we are going to build that rig. So without further ado, Let's get to going. All right, as you can tell, I have already added my suppressor height sight because I am now adding this. Every single build I do, I am I decided to just go ahead and do that. Now, this is a DIY mold. I got it from uh, DIYholsters.com, and this I got this like eight years ago. Uh, this is before I even knew about multi-molds. So I got this guy. Um, it has served me well. It is already pre-blocked, but we're doing a Gen 5, so we're going to have to block right here, which is actually no big deal because we're going to have a line right here anyway, so it's not even going to matter. Uh, right hand speed clips with this, so it's really not much to do. So we're just going to go ahead. Uh, Gen 5 is a little bit wider than this right here. I have a Gen 5, so I'm not going to worry about it. And uh, it's Cerakoted, so that adds a little bit of thickness, so we're going to add extra tape probably do seven to eight layers and uh, we're gonna flip it and then go ahead and throw those on All right. and the layers of tape are added and I do this with every flashlight build I cut out where the mount is here we go reason why I do that is you get better definition around the light and it has a more stable um, fitment when it's in the light. And I'll go ahead because this is already blocked. And get that nice crease and then fold over. And there we go. This side is perfectly fine. But we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be putting this piece of blocking right here and that's going to block that piece of the channel that we need right there so we don't even have to worry about it. So, get the light widgets. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I am absolutely sick of winter. Alright, throw those puppies on. Alright, it doesn't want to stick, so... Quick wash with alcohol. <laughs> we'll solve that problem. Right. There, I don't know, yeah. Light bearing is a little bit different when it comes to that that blocking that we do, so we may not be doing that. Right, there's one. There 
And two. For this side. One thing I hate about doing pancake light bearing on foam, you have to have this portion just right. If it's too thick or too long, the holster is just massive and it doesn't fit right. But it should be pretty good. And like always, my ovens are on, foam is inside. That way we have nice hot foam and we don't have to worry about sucking the heat out of our kydex. So, uh, I gotta add one more thing. Let's see, here we are. And that is blocking for this. If you don't add this blocking, you will have fitment issues and it's not fun. Now I know I haven't done this for outside the waste bin yet, which means I don't have a retention plate. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut that retention plate, because this is all set. I can go ahead and add like something right here. You know, I could do that too. Which doesn't look too bad, so yeah, screw it. Let's add that. Now all I'm going to do is cut this out, and it's going to go off here, come down, and then be about half inch or so right here. I'm confident enough that I can squish down hard enough to be able to do that. Now this is going to be OD green, so I'll cut everything, get it in the press, and uh, build it. So guys, I got everything in the press, right, and the mail came, and uh, I am, I'm just ecstatic, okay, so let, let me just, let me read you this note. So I got a letter and a very sweet holster, and it says, Hey brother, I just wanted to say thank you for all the help in the beginning of my journey. All the advice and well-timed release of your YouTube channel was a cocktail of inspiration, motivation, and advice that answered many of my startup questions in near sequence. Logistically, I'd like to say this product wouldn't have existed without all the tidbits of info coming from your direction and forged a new path. Thank you again, my friend, and I wish you continued success in your business, brother. Cheers, Matt. Now, he owns Pine Nine Holsters. Now, I met Matty quite a few years back where he was actually a customer of mine, and he loved this business so much, he, I'm not going to say became my competition. He became not, well, he became a partner. So uh, people, like, if I couldn't do it, he could, and vice versa, right? So uh, he's based in the same state I am, a few towns away, and he developed probably one of the badass holsters that I've had. Now, I'm gonna put a link in the description to his uh, his website and the video that shows you how exactly you can use this, and not to mention, the video is, is absolutely priceless. But, his name's Matt, he owns Pine Nine Holsters, all right? Now, as you can see, fishing rod holster. Now, after this came out, I had an influx of people calling me, hey, I need this holster. Well, I'll tell you what, you can go right to him. He has this beautifully made, and it's patent pending, right? So I will not ever copy this design because friends don't do that. So here is the beautiful Pine Nine Holsters um, fishing rod holster. How, how cool is that? It's fully ambidextrous, so you can go ahead, you can unclip these, put them in the front, and just like that. Comes off, 
locks in place. You switch to the other side. There we go. And how cool is that? So again, the video's in the description. Huge shout out to Matt. Thank you so much, man. This is absolutely awesome. And you know what? I'm going to hang this on my wall because I absolutely love stuff like this. So I appreciate you, man. And you totally made my day. So thank you, buddy. Now, let's get back to the holsters. It's over here. All right. Now we have here a very well squished. And I just ordered brand new foam. So this problem's not going to happen anymore. But you see all that? which is outside the space of the holster, but that looks beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead, all those are gonna come out, so I'm not worried about it, but this, that looks great. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna cut it up and make a freaking holster. Now, I'm gonna tell you this, whenever I have um, the request of speed clips, I always drill it so it fits belt loops as well. Because over time, these bend, they're fantastic, they're great, they're quick on and off, but these are more sturdy. So I always, and they have a different uh, bolt pattern, so I always add in that. So just in case the owner wants to swap out from this to this, they can do absolutely that. So let's get to cutting. And of course, I forgot to hit record, but there it is, mapped out and uh, drilled, cleaned. I got a brand new countersink bit from knife kits and hi i can't love them no. <laughs> mine was so dull i had to really really ream into it this one you just tap it and it's good so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this on the bandsaw and we are gonna get it moving let me just show you how strong this new bit is so i have a hole it needs to be reamed there's a joke in there somewhere anyways whoops <laughs> uh. <laughs> there we go. That. Man, who needs half inch drill bits? That's awesome. <laughs> and it's still beautiful. All right. I cut it so I could open it. Uh, I had to open this up. That way I can get the mold out and then also you have to drill the retention screws on top of drilling the screws uh it is a lot easier and i mean a lot easier to add these retention screws at this point before you seal this so that is what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and add my quarter inch uh threaded post with my 0.4375 screw and the just over quarter inch uh or just actually yeah about hmm, eh, a little over quarter inch for the uh bushing inside and then i'm gonna go ahead and do this and Finish cutting it out. Retention in, eyelets in. Gonna finish the cut, sand it, make it look pretty, send it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> it's not snowing yet either, thank God. And we're cut. Kind of decided not to kind of show it only because it's kind of boring. But here it is. We are cut, we are ready to go. And there, there's the inside. I took my 17 Gen 5, mounted it up to it, and it is pretty good. Retention is a little strong, uh, but two things to remember. One, I have them tightened down pretty well. That way I could get everything going because it makes this easier to close once these are tightened. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen that and check the retention again. And then after you fold the wings, it lightens up too. So um, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to clean up all the edges, or I'm going to clean up all the edges. And we're gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of a more of a dip right here because my knuckle caught on it right there, as you can see. So I'll do a little bit more of a dip just right there. Uh, but we're gonna finish this up, bend the ears, and you're gonna see what it looks like with these. So stay tuned. This looks absolutely killer. Let's go ahead, add the hardware, laser it, and off it goes. Although my laser is not connected right now because I just got back from the show yesterday. It's too cold to turn it on. I don't want to pop it. But it is now 58 degrees in here, so it should be fine. But um, by the time I'm finished everything tonight, it'll be nice and warm in here. So let's add the hardware. Let's get it gone. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, here we go. And, you know, I absolutely love the way I do the retention on here. Just that little dip right there is more than enough that you need. And it's just, it's, it's beautiful. Plenty of room left for uh, just the retention. And this is just, it feels great. So... I'm really looking 
forward to this. I did accidentally draw on this, so I do have to clean that up. Um, just squirt a little on there. There we go. And I think there was I saw a faint line right there from when I drew the line for the to make sure I was going straight. And uh, I put the hardware, uh, this is quarter inch right here, and it's on the side that has the letter. So this is left side, there's that, these are quarter inch right here. So again, both quarter inch. So this in here, right side, quarter and quarter. Come on, fingers are oily. All right, and then these are half inch screws. The reason why I went with half inch is because you're going through two layers of kydex and eyelet and this all right so let's put the right there we go and that was one down oh don't you love how beautiful things come out when you take your time and I remember back in the day when I was first starting I did not want to do light bearing it always scared the hell out of me and you know I'd have to throw out some and look at some and be like what can I do better and I, seriously like the best change that I did on these outside the waistbands was the way I did the retention plate where it goes all the way around, or at least matches that, and then all the way around. And if you look, that's just big enough for that. So this literally couldn't have gotten any better. For a Glock 17 Gen 5, with an Olight Balder Pro R. Thank you guys again for watching this video. This holster did, it just absolutely came out amazing. And I am uh, excited to get it out of the shop and move on to the next one this is going all the way to millen georgia so uh, i'm really uh, stoked for it so jake hope you enjoy it um and uh yeah it's gonna start snowing around 1 a.m chances are i'm gonna be in here I gotta wake up early plow the driveway and have uh that good time but i'm gonna be in here busting these out because i have a lot to do i just had a shipment of like a thousand foamy show up that needs to be laser engraved and distributed to all the uh other holster manufacturers that ordered them and huge thank you and shout out to holstersmith and knifekits.com for supporting this channel and all of you guys and uh we're gonna be teaming up with them again soon i don't know if it's for the 9,000 or the 10,000 giveaway but we are like 120 away of 9,000 subscribers which is absolutely awesome and i'm gonna give something away whether it's a holster or a mold or something i think it's gonna be a holster but uh until then thank you guys and i will catch you on the next one